This farm was started by my grandfather, John Johnson. Uh, he came from Sweden with his brothers. So this is a century farm. My father, he started farming with his dad. I started farming with my dad with no pressure. You know, you have to love it in order to do it. I did the same with Brian. I never really said anything. You know, he, he was part of the operation helping and it, I wanted it to be his decision, you know, alone that he wanted to farm and uh, it's been quite a blessing to have him come back. Um, I started after college in 2004 and now my wife and I have four kids. Uh, Ella's 12, Lila is 10, Leo is 7, and Evelyn is, will be three here shortly. And they're all active, uh, helping various uh, activities in the farm here, working cattle, checking cattle in the pasture, uh, calving season, they really enjoy it. Uh, they like to ride along with me in the field, in the tractor, in the combine. Uh, it's definitely a family affair. My favorite thing in the farm is um, cutting corn with Dad and Papa. Uh, we have to feed the chickens. We have to go check the cows. We kind of have we kind of have to decide who does the chicken chores because none of us really like going to pick eggs at like five o'clock. <laughs> I grew up in northeastern Nebraska on a cattle farm, on an Angus farm. Um, and I swore to my dad I would never ever marry a farmer because it was such hard work. And I went to college and hated living in the city and met Brian. And I was like, oh, hey, there's a farmer. So I got myself back to the farm. And it's kind of been my goal and my passion to make a complete system out of this farm. Bring those cattle back, you know, to the carrying capacity that the pastures can hold. Utilize those rotational grazing wise as what they can hold. And then in the last couple years, we've um, really focused on integrating those cattle back onto the crop ground, spending less time and energy um, moving manure, already having it out on the fields. We like save money by putting them on cover crops and putting them on that longer until it grazes a little shorter. So it wasn't that I had to uh, change a whole lot because the footprint had already been made. It was just tinkering with some new, new ideas and, and some new practices here and there. One other thing that we have really honed in on in the last five, six, seven years is focusing on really the acre by acre productivity of the farm and looking at, even if it's a small piece of ground, what's the best use for that acre? Is it corn? Is it soybeans? Is it small grain? Is it forage? Or is it really we need to put that into grass so we're reducing our erosion and we're providing some habitat for wildlife or whatever it is on those CRP acres? It was mostly just managing the water. What, what can we do with our crop rotations in our management system to be able to handle the water and use it efficiently? Through the uh, water issues that we encountered, it became more of a, okay, we have to change some of our cropland away from crop production into grass and, and water management. And that's where the CRP acres came into play. That whole system's approach of having different things growing, whether it's in your pasture, whether it's in your crop ground, to keep the soil healthy, keep all those microbes happy and, and functioning healthy together. When you have a healthy soil, you have a healthy crop, you have a healthy livestock. It all comes back to you're producing healthy soil, you have a healthy end product. To us, that's really important. They've seen an increase over the years of organic matter on their operation through the, the diversity of crop rotations, um, the uh, addition of cover crops to their uh, rotations. And I also think, and especially with a year like we're experiencing now, they're starting to really see the benefits of in, improved infiltration in their soils. The organic matter is building. Um, they're keeping their fertilizer levels up there. So if somebody else down the road gets these 
this farm ground, I mean, it's going to be well taken care of and be the most productive it can be. As you drive down the road coming in here, you see the, some of the conservation practices they put in place. Uh, saline areas they planted back in the grass to recover those areas, you see grass waterways, and uh, they have been innovators in conservation in our area and soil health for a long time. And I think we learn more from them than they learn from us, but we really like working with them. You know, on our operation, we do what we do because it, it works for us and we think it, it, it's sustainable and it's the right thing to do. Um, we weren't looking to receive awards for anything we do other than just because it works. We want to be able to pass it along and uh, keep doing the right thing and learning as we go, making adjustments, improvements. More trees, more shelter belts, um, some cross fencing, just integrating the livestock more. It's a journey that we're on here in this operation. We've come a long way in 30 some years of no-till. There's a lot more that we know that we need to do and that we can do. You know, we're driving through the pasture in the ranger and the granddaughter reaches out and grabs a couple stems of grass. She goes, oh, crested wheat, grown grass. That's kind of neat. They take it to heart too, you know, uh, and they're proud of uh, what we're doing here. When you think of those moments where you're all together and you're working hard and at the end of it, the little kid goes, wow, that went really fast and that was so much fun. Like those moments are just like, oh, heartbeat moments of we're doing this right. We're doing the right thing. Or during harvest when we're all out in the field, Alan and Mickey and Brian and I and the kids and it's you know, someday it'll be the kids running the equipment, you know. Those are the moments where you're pulling in the corn or the wheat or the soybeans or you're baling hay and everybody's together. It's like, this is what we're doing this for, is to build, build a family, build these values to be passed on to the next generation. <laughs>